Hello. 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 of a barrel of oil approaching a hundred dollars, there's a mad dash underway to extract every drop possible. Government is clearing the way and oil companies are making billions of dollars, but neither seems to be keeping track of the staggering environmental costs of a modern day black gold rush. materials and build high-speed railways that run off of solar If I were a millionaire, I would fly every Canadian over the oil sands. You know, and if I were an entrepreneur, I would probably, before I did, buy a whole bunch of hybrid dealerships or, or Volkswagen dealerships or something, because I think most people would be instant converts. They'd get rid of their SUVs and their big pickup trucks and buy something fuel efficient. Cars. They're stinky. And they leave stains everywhere. And I honestly feel like days when I'm walking around song to get rid of cars. It's gonna take all of you. It's gonna take all of you carpooling maybe, taking trains, putting pressure on representatives to improve our local railways and buses and subways. For a long time, most people thought none of this was even possible. Squeezing the heavy oil out of all that sand and clay is a dirty, expensive process, and for decades, most oil companies scoffed at the idea. That's all for now. I'm going to let you go. Have a good day. Be kind to one another. This is what he's talking about. Mines, machinery, and toxic waste. Almost 40,000 square kilometers of northern Alberta, an area larger than Vancouver Island, is already approved for development. 